Hello students and welcome to this video where we are going to discuss parent functions. So the following six graphs are going to be the basic graphs that we must know and be able to recognize. I'm going to tell you some key things that you want to jot down as you're watching this video to ensure that you have the qualities that you need to know about um, parent functions. Now, the functions that I'm going to show you, I want you to keep in mind that these are kind of like our basics. These are the foundation. So just like you're a child of your parent, you share some of the same qualities, but you differ from them in different ways. Even if you have brothers and sisters, you all share similar qualities, but you still differ. So a parent function is kind of like your minimum, like the pure basic function that you can get. It doesn't mean that every function is going to look like that parent function. It's going to share similar characteristics, but it will be a little different. So talking about our first parent function, we have the linear function. The linear function creates a line, so that is the shape. It does pass through the origin. It is the equation y equals x. The second parent function is a quadratic function. It creates a parabola, which is this U shape. And what's cool about a parabola is it is symmetric. So the quadratic function is a symmetrical graph, meaning if I were to cut that down the middle, I'd have the same exact thing on the left and the right. It too passes through the origin, and its equation is y equals x squared. The cubic function, you can see that this has a cool little shape. I like to call it the disco graph. If you, any of you have seen um, Saturday Night Fever with John Travolta, it reminds me of that pose. The right hand is going up, the left hand is going down. It too passes through the origin and its equation is y equals x cubed. Our next graph is the square root function and I like to think about this as s for square root S for swimmer. If you imagined you standing on the edge of a pool and getting ready to dive in, that's the shape that you would make, right? Your body would be a little hunched over, your arms would be out in front of you, so it looks kind of like a swimmer getting ready to dive. So S for swimmer. This graph starts at the origin, and its equation is y equals square root of x. The next graph is absolute value function. I remember this as V for value. So its shape is a V. It is also symmetrical, meaning if I were to cut this down the middle, I'd have the same thing on the left and the right. It too passes through the origin, and its equation is Y equals absolute value of X. And my last parent function is the rational function. This one's a little unique. If you tilt your head a little to the left and look at the image I have, do you see the butterfly wings? It kind of has that butterfly shape to it. So that's how I remember it. It's the butterfly graph. It's a kind of an awkward, weird looking graph. It's the only one that does not even touch the origin. Its equation is y equals 1 over x. Again, I encourage you to learn and love these functions. You will see them quite frequently throughout the course. Um, you want to be able to name all six of them, be able to write their equation, and draw a sketch of their graph accurately. Okay. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to ask. Have a great day.